Good morning, ESM. A couple weeks ago, Todd, Emily, Owen, and I competed in the States Competition for Skills USA. Uh, Emily and I competed in the television video production, while Chris and Owen competed in the digital cinema production. You saw Emily and Todd's video earlier this month, but we'll show you how Owen and I went right after news announcements. I have some exciting news this morning. The New York State Health Department has recently informed school districts that distancing of three feet for students and six feet for adults is no longer required. ESM is currently working on returning classrooms and other spaces to pre-pandemic configurations. These changes will apply to school as well as athletics, performing arts, and other school-related events. In the event of an exposure, physical distancing will, be continue, will continue to be implemented. Monday morning, two people died and two were hospitalized in a house fire on the west side. One of the people, Christy Tucker, age 29, has been identified. When firefighters arrived at 8.29 a.m., the house was in flames from basement to attic. The fire also spread to a neighboring house. It took 69 firefighters and over 100 minutes to get the fire out. The cause is unknown as the house was too unstable to enter. Both houses were destroyed after the fire. Tuesday, people placed balloons, stuffed animals, posters, and flowers at the entrance of the home in memory of those that died in the flames. A festival celebrating the almighty chicken wing will return to Syracuse's Syracuse City's Inner Harbor for the first time since the COVID pandemic. Eleven restaurants and bars will compete in the Battle of the Wings on May 20 and 21st. The two-day festival will feature 11 bands on two different stages, and a dozen food trucks will line the grounds and sell their food. The festival, sponsored by Empower Federal Credit Union, is behind the Aloft Hotel at the corner of West Kilpatrick and Solar Streets. It will run from 4 to 11 p.m. next Friday and noon to 11 on Saturday. Ten judges will crown their favorite at 4 p.m. Saturday. Tickets bought in advance cost $5, and tickets bought at the gate cost $10. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Graduating senior members' orders are now being taken for graduation stools. Please see Moose um, or the classroom information. Deadline to order is Friday, May 20th. Are you hungry? Well, you're in luck. This Friday, Spartan Pride is hosting a breakfast pizza in the large cafeteria. Come down early and grab a slice. Uh, juniors, prom is right around the corner. Uh, scan the QR code on screen now to pre-request music. Uh, this form will close on May 18th. Seniors, this is open for ball as well. Good morning, yes, and we're in the Popeyes parking lot. We just left the Skills Expo Center. It is currently 9.39. I'm sure you'll get plenty of updates on how our night's going. We are taking part in Skills USA, which is a competition, a regional competition, in which we have to produce a student-made film in an amount of time. What do you want from Popeyes? Yes, what time, what time do we need to get in high school? Um, 6.30? 6.30. 30. 630. <laughs> If we somehow win, it is 100% thanks to one Laura Fertesky and Mrs. Planty. <laughs> They're going to be doing the most for us here really? at 6.30 in the morning. I'll make it happen. Oh, oh yeah! let's go! All right, so by the way, just going back to what we're doing. So it was supposed to be a very cool, fun film contest in which students from all over the state, we are the representatives for this area of Syracuse because we're just that cool. Um, we come together, all the students, and they have to make a certain a film on a certain topic. We thought the topic was going to be like hope or despair or like some gen general broadened term that we could have cool film for. Um, it turns out the guy who's hosting it is a giant film poser and just wants us to make an Adam Sandler movie about COVID. So, you know, not what we were looking for, but we're still going to try our best and win. We're working from a hotel room and we get to go home and use all of our own computers and then break into the high school at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow to do a lot of filming. It is 9.44. Now we will keep you updated on how the night goes. Do one of those uh, YouTuber transitions where they fit up the screen. <laughs> like that? We're at Walmart. Walmart.
Today is going to be very nice. It's going to be very warm and sunny. Tomorrow is going to be even warmer than today, but it's going to be partly cloudy. Today we have a high of 80 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. Tomorrow we have a high of 83 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. Other teams who aren't from Syracuse, they're all stuck at a hotel. So we have like home court advantage, I guess. So like definitely film at locations. Home. Uh, we'll update you when we're done. Uh, we just got out. Um, the judge seemed to really like our film, so we're kind of confident. I don't know if we take first, but I think we're at least top three. Top three, at least. I think we're top three. We'll try to get a video of the announcement tomorrow. But yeah. Uh, Time to go get some sleep. Yeah. What? 30, 30, we've 34? Up, we've been up for over 30 hours. 30 straight. hours straight. So we're going to go We're going to go sleep. We're proud of our progress. Once again, I want to give a big thank you to Chris, yep. Miss Planty, Laura, and Jaden Raven. Oh, and you did some stuff too. I did all right. You did all right. Oh, come on. All right. all right. Sleep time. Bye. Georgia, baby. First place skills, television, uh, video production. You know, we got third. We're not going to Atlanta, but we're still happy with third best in the state. Boys lacrosse team picked up a big win over Cortland on senior night last night, 19-4. Jackson Caleb led the team with five goals and two assists. Dan Abreu had a four goals, Trey Jones had two goals and three assists, and Evan DeBurgess had two goals and two assists. <coughs> the softball team shot out Cortland 17-0 for their biggest win of the season so far. Brooke Kirkpatrick scored three runs, one off of a home run, and five RBIs. Hannah DeGanza and Sarah Brefka both had two runs each. The unified basketball team defeated Chittenango 32-22 on Tuesday. The Spartans are now 3-0 on the season and will play Cortland on Thursday. In upcoming news, the boys tennis team has a match at Auburn at 4.30. Boys and girls track team both have a meet at Central Square against Central Square and Auburn at 5. The boys tennis team has another match at Auburn at 6.30 and I'm Morgan with your sports. The boys lacrosse team against Cortland last night. It was their senior night. You can see pictures on screen of the boys. What a great night. Skills USA is a great opportunity for kids to get involved in the CTE programs like cosmetology, auto, and early childhood development. If you're not in any of these CTE programs, I highly recommend them. And if you're looking to challenge yourself, look into the Skills USA competitions. Talk to your counselor to get involved. And from me and everyone here at Smart News, have a great day.